Today I'm looking at an original Xbox, and like most things I videotape, it has some problems. Ignore the fact that the faceplate is missing on this one. What we're going to discuss here is relevant, whether that's there or not. This was some garage sale pickup from a relative. She's not in the best shape. What can I say? The system has some issues with the disc tray. It jams and is inconsistent. Let me show you. Okay, so everything seems fine so far. It closes. Oh, it opened itself back up. Okay, we're good, right? Let's try it without the disc. And it jammed. So without a disc, the tray can't open at all. And we have to use our handy little paper clip. For those that might not know, there's a small hole here. You can push that in and get it out that way. And now it's stuck open. So we've seen all the problems with the disc tray here. I assume it's a matter of dirt and debris clogging up the drive system, maybe a belt or something. Let's take it apart and see if we can find out. At this point, I've disconnected power, removed the disc, so I'll flip her over, and remove these rubber feet with a dental tool. You might also notice there's a screw here and here. Normally you wouldn't be able to see those, but the stickers have been poked out. If you want to keep your console in good condition, kind of like more original, then you might want to just peel back that sticker to get to this screw. Same thing here, but in this case, not in the best shape, and we're not too worried about voiding our warranty. Now here with the tools I have, I found a 20 millimeter Torx is working pretty well. Get the screws out, we'll flip her over. Should be able to take her off. Okay. We don't need that, we'll put it aside. Our focus now is this guy right here. But, we're gonna need to take this out to get at it, unfortunately. So we'll pull this cable. And now down here it's connected to the hard drive. Feels like you might be breaking it when you're trying to do this, but don't worry, just pull it. Comes out. Here I have a 10 millimeter Torx driver. The next size up, the 15, is too big. Even though this one feels a little small, it works well enough. So now the disc drive is loose, but it's mounted on the front still. You can see one of the screws is right there. And the other one we need to remove is right here. So we can just kind of lean that up for now. Let's see if we can get this out. This whole thing, we don't really need right now. So we'll put it aside and focus on our disk drive pad. Got a two and a half millimeter Phillips here. So now we get a nice view of all the innards, the amazement that is the original Xbox disk drive. Flip this over. Zooming in a bit, we can see uh, what we're working with. There's quite a lot of dirt there. I'm gonna wipe some of that off for sure. Okay, so that's a little bit better. Next up, we wanna open this tray. It's stuck, but down here, that little white piece, that's what we were stabbing with our paper clip at the beginning of the video. So, let's get her in front of us and push it. 
Now we can pull this out. You can see the belt moving here that links kind of the motor to the drive itself. And that being dirty or not in proper tension is an issue. First thing I'm gonna do is pull that out. Since the console isn't in the best shape, I don't want to go too crazy taking everything down to its bare minimum. That said, I'm just going to clean out everything I can see that's dirty with alcohol on a Q-tip, including those two uh, pulley gears that were belt driven and pulling the disc drive. Now there's a gear set right in here that I'm not forgetting either. And this is the damage done after cleaning out that disc drive. And also the belt I cleaned off with alcohol as well. Now that everything's clean, we're happy with it, we're going to take the belt and put it back in. Also, this thing isn't quite all the way closed. So in here, we're going to take our tweezers and lift that forward all the way. I don't really know if that's necessary, but it does bring the drive portion back up. It just brings things back to how they should be when this thing is closed. Halfway through putting it back together, I tested it again, and it didn't work. And I'm thinking, what have I done? I mean, I followed the playbook, something's broken and dirty, you clean it, and then it works, right? So, since it didn't, I was forced to poke around on the internet to see what I could learn. I guess it wasn't dirt and grime this time. Poetry. It turns out, there's a strong magnet right here, and that catches against this piece, which serves to hold the disc in when these two pieces are mated. Now, that magnet is apparently a little too strong for its own good, because the belt that has to overcome its force wears out over time, obviously. It's essentially a rubber band. And when the belt is stretched out to the point that it doesn't provide enough force, well, obviously, it cannot push the disc tray open anymore. And I think that's the problem we're dealing with here. In my earlier footage, the belt did seem a little loosey-goosey. What I've done is taken the drive belt and placed it in a cup of boiling water, or just about boiling, for a couple minutes, taken it out, and let it dry. And my hope is that this kind of brought some life back into it, such that it has a little more tension than before, and it will more tightly go over the pulleys, and thus provide more force for it to overcome the strength of that magnet and eject the disc. If that doesn't work, I'm going to have to do some cheesy stuff, like artificially lowering the force of the magnet with some spacers. I hope it doesn't come to that. It does feel a little tighter than before, but not extreme. Well, it still didn't work, so I resorted to doing the thing I didn't want to, which is adding spacers to artificially reduce the strength of this magnet. What you see here are tiny pieces of foam tape. It's just those 3M command strips. You know, this stuff. The other side was sticky as well, so I just kind of repeatedly stuck it over and over on the surface until it wasn't too sticky on the top side. Although that shouldn't matter too much, even if it is. I just didn't want it coming loose from this magnet. Let's test it out. Hey, there we go. Now we're going to put this back together. That should be out.
it works a cheesy trick did uh it it did the trick yep that's what it did well we did it it wasn't the most glamorous but it is fixed so what say we celebrate with a little bit of outlaw volleyball Well, with this one, it really didn't come down to dirt and dust being the primary issue like it so often is. Instead, it was just a worn out belt. And it seems to be maybe a design issue that that magnet is so strong that it causes that belt to wear out maybe faster than it should. Of course, replacing that belt is a fine option, perhaps the best option. But the fix we implemented here was simply spacing apart those two pieces so that the magnet force was reduced such that the current belt, even in its kind of stretched out state, is strong enough to open it. The fact that it did work with the disc in just tells me that the disc itself is acting as that spacer, but in any case, the Xbox is good now and we can finally take our games out without having to leave a dummy disc in just so the dang thing can open. So I hope this ends up being helpful to someone out there that might have a similar issue. Long live the Xbox, am I right? Anywho, thanks for watching.